just right, living loose life. Aloha everyone, my name is Sunny Savage and I'm on the north shore of Maui, but I love traveling to the leeward sides to harvest kiawe beans. And it is the season and I just wanted to share with you some of my tips um, in making the beans into a sweet kiawe nectar. Um, so I harvested my beans from the ground uh, mostly. There were a few within reach that I was able to get uh, that were already ripe. but. Um, when I'm picking beans, occasionally there will be a bean that has some visible mold on it. And um, so what I do is I just snap this bean off. If the rest of it is good, the rest of it looks good to me, then I just snap that part off and I'll use the rest of the bean. So you want to make sure and stay away from mold. Um, um, here's two gorgeous beautiful beans so what I'm doing is snapping the beans into roughly oh two inch long pieces or so and I put them into this large pot and I put the water right at the same level as the beans and now um, a pot this size took about an hour to bring it up to this kind of simmering point and I'm gonna let it simmer for Oh, another hour or so, and then I'll strain off this first bat. It's just right, living loose and light. I do it for the love, for the family, for the tribe. I do it for the harmony that lives deep inside. I do it for the lion just to stoke up my pride. For this next batch of Kiave tea, decoction, nectar, whatever you want to call it, I have um, added some lovely haiku rainwater and uh, went ahead and just kind of mashed the beans up with my hands. Put this back on the flame for another hour or two and just uh, feel it out, you know, taste it, see how it tastes and uh, yeah, use your intuition. I ended up simmering three gallons worth of Kiave nectar and uh, I had a little bit more than that that I ended up experimenting with and I did one with uh, chili peppers and tamarind, and I did a second one with um, just lilikoi. And so this is a kiave bean, um, Maui rum, uh, lilikoi uh, cocktail. So <laughs> cheers everybody. Have fun, get creative with our abundant delicious, free, wild food harvest of the mighty Kiabe.